grow boss. I write the grow book and equipment guide and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a trellis and trim up and shape a plant to go in it. Okay so there's a couple of things that you should know about trellis netting before we get started. One, they come in different sizes. So if you have a 2x4 tent like this or a 3x5 tent like this you're probably going to want like the 5x6 or the 6x6 trellis netting. Now, if you're going to put two layers of trellis netting in there, you might want to go with something bigger, like a 4x8, but we'll get into that later. Also, they come in different square sizes, but most of the trellis netting that you're going to see comes with 6 inch squares, and that's all you really need. Also, they come in plastic and cloth, and while you may prefer one or the other, it doesn't really matter to your plants, and they both cost about the same. But, no matter which one you buy, these things are always a disaster when it comes to opening them up. That's why you can see that I have this one spread across the table. Because they, they're all always knotted like this. So the best thing that you could possibly do, and that's the cloth one, the best thing that you could possibly do is to find an end and open it up across a table like this until you can catch the corners like this. Okay, so here's the problem, right? If you've already built your tent, how do you get this into there? Well, I'll show you. There's a couple of different ways. All right, so if you have plants in the tent or your tent's already built, all you have to do is grab a corner from the trellis, get a zip tie behind the pole, and lock it down. Follow the squares across, grab another zip tie, and lock it down. Then, you just pull the trellis across like this and do the same thing on the other side. I prefer to put it in the frame though, and even though this tent is already built, let me show you what I mean. Okay, so you gotta pay attention because these things are tricky. What we're gonna do is hang one over the edge, get it started, and just pull it across. Okay, so you can see it's tricky, and you got to work it back and forth to line it up. You really got to pay attention that your corners are in the same row, and that you have the same amount of squares both ways, or it's not going to work out right later. So I think I'm good. Let's trim it up. Be careful that you don't cut the square that the pole's in. If you bought the right size trellis, you should have enough to do two layers. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have to adjust it. Okay, one, two, three, four holes deep. One, two, three, four holes deep. Perfect, looks good, let's trim it up. Remember, check twice, cut once. Now we have two layers of trellis on our tent. I'm going to go ahead and put the light back on now. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. We have a little bit of trellis left over from when we trimmed it, and when we reassembled our tent, it pulled the trellis that was in there nice and tight. And now that we have the trellis in the tent, let's go ahead and put a plant in it, trim her up, and start shaping her up into the trellis. And at that point, you'll see why we have two levels in here. Which is exactly why I spend so much time on topping, lollipopping, and super cropping your plants in my grow book and equipment guide and in my No More Grow More Fat cards. And that's because I want you to understand that if you want to harvest like this, you can't flower shitty six plants like these. You need to understand the relationship between penetration and coverage. Because if you try to stuff a four-foot plant like this into a three-foot space like this, it's never going to turn out the way you think. And if you don't believe me, you should watch the garden rescue I did for Old Navy. Just look how close his plants got to the light. After all, what are the two complaints that good growers have? Their girlfriends hate trimming, and their plants got too big for the light. Now, 
Before we put her into a trellis, and since we know we're going to put her into the shape of a scrog, a screen of green, then let's go ahead and take a few minutes and shape her up. But before we do that, let me show you this. I just want to show you what this plant looks like because this is the plant that we shaped up two weeks ago. This is how she looked two weeks ago. Then we trimmed her, and two weeks later, she looks like this. And then we trimmed her again, getting her ready to put into the trellis. But before we put her in the trellis and weave her into that scrog, let's take a moment and look at just how awesome she is now and compare her to a plant that we haven't trimmed. You can see the nice round shape on this plant, right? You can see how the canopy is kind of uniform. You can see how the tops are starting to come up. And then you look at this plant, which I didn't trim, and you can see how messy it is that some tops have started to grow tall. Some are growing out. They're coming up from the middle, but the energy isn't really directed. So I'm just going to spend a little bit of time cleaning her up, and let's see what she looks like when I'm done. And remember, whenever you trim a plant, always start from the bottom up because that's where the bugs come from. Then sort of thin and trim as you go. Don't do too much in any one spot, and remember to turn the plant a lot, because every time you turn it, you'll see something new. Okay, let's put her in a trellis now. Okay, so this is the plant that we've trimmed twice now, and I think she's ready to go into a trellis. So let me show you how we kind of use like one plant to fill up a tent, because you guys are always asking me, how many plants do I need? And I keep telling you, I don't care if you do one or you do four. You just have to fill up the space with plant to get that yield. So let's start by taking the tallest branches and moving them to the outside. And the smallest branches and bring them into the middle. All right, let's lower the trellis a little now. and just keep working the branches into the individual squares. All right, you can sort of see it starting to take shape now as I lower it. I've got the tops kind of squashed underneath the trellis, and now I can choose the ones I want where I want them. We start in the middle with the thinnest, with the shortest and thinnest branches, And you can see now how I have way too many branches, even from earlier. Okay, so these two are really tall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring them up into the middle. I'm going to put them over this trellis here and then under this one here. And now all these tops will be forced to turn up right here. I'm going to do the same thing with the tallest one on the other side. I'm going to go over there and under. This tall one right here, up, under. And now, these tops all the way over here will end up in the last square. They'll stretch out into the last square. And these ones will fill up these squares here over the next week. These will turn up and fill up these spaces. The smaller ones will come up the middle here. And then we do the same thing on the outside with these plants. We're trying to get these ones to turn up here. So even though I had trimmed all of that earlier, you can see that we don't need, we definitely don't need this plant to go any longer because it's already up against the wall. So we're going to top these plants over here because they're long enough and it fills up that corner. In fact, it's so long, I'm going to pull it back over this, put it under this like that, 
and then these will have to turn up. Same thing here, here's two tops, over, under, over, under. These will turn up, these will turn up. Ooh, this one's kind of long. Let's take it and put it over here. And you know what, we'll take this top right here and I'm just going to soften it up by bending and breaking it. And then I'm going to weave it right into the middle like that. This one here is growing up already, so I'm going to tuck it under the next one to stop that. This one's growing up, I'm going to tuck it under. This will turn up over time. But that's about all we can do for the moment until the tops start to turn up. Remember, plants are phototropic. They grow toward the light. So all these tops will start to turn up. And then we'll put them into the second trellis when they start to turn up and we'll capture them into the second trellis. You can see a little bit of it now. We can do it. The plants are tall enough. But we don't want to do this yet because look how close to the light they are. So if we turn them like this and we start flowering them now, they'll turn up and they'll be flowers. They'll grow right through the second trellis and they'll end here. So they're still pretty close to the light, but you get the idea. And even if we wanted to, the plant's pretty flexible. Like, I don't want to freak you out, but we could lower this quite a bit. There's plants pretty good about that, right? And you really have to pay attention to light because too much light is the number one problem. And the last thing you want to do is hit your plant with too much light. That's why a trellis is so important. Just look at how our plant started. Just look at how big she was when we put her in that tent. She's almost up to the light. And then we put her under a trellis like this. And you can see how much further away from the light we are. And that's super important because the last thing you want to do is have a problem where your plants and your buds run up and into the light like old Navy's garden because you're just going to cook your weed and not even get high off it. Okay, I'd like to make one more observation about this plant. Now, she was under a 400 watt light before we trimmed her. And if you remember, at the start of the video, her canopy was about 18 inches thick, and she was about 3 feet around. Now, she was under a 400 watt light, which means she can handle 400 watts worth of light. And I want you to be aware of this, because if you were going to transplant this plant under a 600 watt light, and you reduce the canopy from 18 inches to 2 inches like she is now, you may want to dim the light for a few days and let her get adjusted, let everything turn up. Because if you thin a plant out and you give it an enormous increase in light, then you're going to burn your plant. Remember, plants take a week or two to respond. They don't work morning to lunch like we do. Plants work more like paycheck to paycheck. So anytime you make a big change like this, like going from 18 inches of canopy to two inches, just pay attention to the light because it's easy to hit her with too much light and too many nutrients because she's not the same plant she was an hour ago. Now, if you'd like one more example, keep watching because we're going to trim up this plant and put her into a trellis next. And I know sometimes it seems like I go on and on and on about plant shape and your light and how important it is that you match your plant shape to your light and that you top and lollipop and super crop in my grow book and in my no more grow more fat cards but that's because yield is based on light and space and the rotation of your garden and the last thing you want to do is end up with your buds in the light like old navy you want your shit to look good like this and this okay this one really got away from us, right? It got pretty tall, it got pretty stretched out. You can see it was topped early on. You can see all the lower branches, but then it, the grooming stopped. So they all kind of just ran away. So there's not too much we can do with this plant. 
And if you grew this much plant, well, you'll see when I'm done trimming it why it was such a waste. Remember, we always trim from the bottom up because that's where the bugs come from, and those are always the smallest buds. And just like before, we thin and trim as we go, always turning the plant because you'll always see something new when you turn her. You go from the inside out. And at this point, because we know we're going to weave her into a trellis, you really want to focus on the tops and branches that are going to work best when we do that. Okay, again, a lower branch. Do you think that this branch can catch all the way up? Well, I don't think so, because it's pretty far from the top, and look how far we've already cleaned it up. And even if we strip this branch down, so we lollipop it, so there's only the top growth, even now, do you think this branch is going to be able to catch up? Even if we ran this branch right through the middle, do you think this branch is going to be able to catch up? I don't. So. There it goes. This branch might catch up. So we strip it down. And we lollipop the one above it too. And now these two branches might stand a chance up in the middle. A little more trimming and we should be good. Okay, remember how I told you at the beginning of this video that if you had plants this big that you let them get out of control? And that's because if the canopy is only the top one foot of this plant, then we got to ask ourselves, why did we spend a month growing the rest of this? We should have been able to get this canopy down here. And now suddenly our lights would have been further away right? It would have been way less veg time and way less electricity spent on growing this plant. Remember, the canopy is everything you want. This is where all the flowers are going to happen. But again, there was no reason to grow all of this height if we were trimming and topping and lollipopping early on. We never should have grown all of this. All of this material was a waste if we had concentrated our growth into just the tops we want, instead of this being a five or a six week old plant, we would have got the same results down here in three or four weeks. Okay, so let me show you how to put a four foot plant in a three foot tent. Start by sliding it off to one side and laying the whole thing down. Now, if you have two plants, this works better because you can put one on the other side and run it over here above this area. Okay, so now this thing's like a vine. Let's try to lower it down a little more and then we're gonna start weaving the branches into the trellis. Okay, so watch. So we're gonna take this branch and it's super soft and pliable. You don't have to worry about it breaking. And we might take one branch on top and we might go underneath with another branch and lay it down like this. Bring it up through another one. Then we'll take this branch here and we'll lay it down, bring it up and over. I'm going to split it so this one goes under and this one goes over. And I'm going to weave this one into this space and this one into this space. Woo. This one here, already in position, it's going to come out. Ah, take a long branch like that. I'm just going to twist it up and warm it up a little, bend and break it. And oof, thread it through, bring it up, and underneath. And I'm not quite sure which ones are going to turn up and which ones I'm going to keep. But you can already see I'm filling in the spaces all the way back here. Ooh, 
try to bring this one back here this way now. Bend and break it, warm it up a little. Okay, this one's got a couple of nice tops. At least these two right here, I don't know about these yet. So, around the outside, under this, and I'm going to put this top in this one, and this top over here. Now, this top may come up. These, there are two tops now in here. There's a third one down here, so it may be too much, but we have to wait to see. All right, this is a long branch. This one can just lay across the whole top. And then in a few weeks, when the tops turn up, it'll look something like this. And we'll have a better idea of which tops to keep. I think you get the idea though. I know we covered a lot today. So take your time, think about it, watch the video again. Just make sure to click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and buy my grow book because everything we discussed today, it's all in there. Okay, so that's how you put a trellis in a tent. I'm the Grow Boss. I write the Grow Book and Equipment Guide. You can pick up my book on eBay, Amazon, at your local hydro store, or from my website, thegrowboss.com. Thanks for watching.